here in the Bezier Games booth and we're talking to Ted Allspock. Ted, how are you doing this morning? I'm doing great, Dave. Thanks. Excellent. Now, you've got a bunch of fun, new-looking stuff here at the booth. Why don't you tell us about some of that? I do. I do. I have less, actually, because we actually even sold out already. That's of a some good of thing. Things, which is great. It's only Saturday morning and some of the things are already gone. Wish I had brought more. <laughs> um, first thing I want to talk about, though, is something that actually isn't for sale at the booth, which is Mutant Meeples. Gotcha. Mutant Meeples is a new game. It's going to be coming out early next year. Mm -hmm. um, it's going to be on Kickstarter starting the last week in October, okay. um, all the way through November. And what it is, it's a pathfinding game, kind of in the vein of a Ricochet Robot style oh, okay. game, as a puzzle Neat. game, but it's much more interactive. And you have Mutant Meeples, Meeples with superpowers. How can that be bad? No, it's, it's really, really fun. Sweet. Uh, the way it works is each player gets eight different mutant meeples. They each have their own unique superpowers. Okay. And they, you have to build a team of six of them. The first person to get six of them on a team wins. Excellent. As you're creating your team, though, everyone that gets added to your team is no longer available for you to use. So the closer you get to winning, the harder and harder it is to be able to Beautiful. be effective in the game. <laughs> Beautiful. Yeah, we're seeing some of the prototypes for some of the components out here. Got a gorgeous board. You said it's double-sided. And you can even change it up? Yes, yeah, there's uh, tiles. Of what, one of the expansions that comes at Kickstarter backer, different levels, one of the expansion levels is called Sidekicks. It comes with two extra meeples besides the eight. So you okay. get, get a total of ten. And you get these tiles, probably be more than this in the expansion, that let you modify the board. So you can get rid of walls or add some more and totally change the layout. And you have another side, which is a totally different layout. It's actually a little harder than the side that's showing here. So this is only a prototype. Okay. The actual finished one is going to have silk screen meeples. They're all going to be uh, even bigger than, than this guy here. Nice. Um, and uh, they're all going to be custom custom designed. They really look cool. They kind of look like they do on the picture here. Great. It's really nice. Now you guys have to be excited about this because you're, you're not new to the business. You've done quite a few darn games, but yep. this is pretty big. This is by far the biggest game that Bezier Games has attempted to do. So both cool. in terms of size and scope and even length of gameplay to some extent, so it's kind of neat. Excellent. Well, we wish you the best of luck with uh, Mutant Meeples. What else do you have here at the show? So, also we have Tiebreaker. This is not quite sold out yet, but very, very close. We're down <laughs> to about 20-some copies of this. Uh, Tiebreaker is a game that breaks ties. Excellent. So, you know, you tie in a game, we just did it last night. We're playing the new Corn of Morsel game, the, the, the trash game where things slide down. Right. A lot of fun. We all tied at like 33 or something. Uh. And we're like, Three of us tied. We're like, ah! But with Tiebreaker, we can go and break that tie. So Tiebreaker has a deck of cards. Cool. You pull out a card with a task on it. It's got something fun like invert your socks, <laughs> or balance a card on your finger, or some other sort of silly task, and then grab this big giant orange meeple. <laughs> First one to grab the meeple after they do their task wins the tie. So it's nice. not a random thing. There's still some skill involved, but it's kind of a lighthearted way to end when your game ends in an otherwise really frustrating tie. Absolutely, yeah. You spend a couple hours playing like a serious Euro game. Yeah. The last thing you want is a Even darn tie. Even that silly game, that, that trash game we were it, playing, right. was only a half hour, but still, we're like, oh, You're, it's exactly. a tie. You know, yeah. and that solves it. And the giant meeple with the tie, genius. This is fun. This is genius. It's the biggest meeple you can buy here yes. at Spiel. Yeah, it's crazy. So, yeah. Excellent. What's up next? Uh, other thing we have is where well, there's two um, expansions for Werewolf. I can't even show you one right now because that sold out um, earlier today. The last copy went. The other one that we still have is called Artifacts. Okay. Artifacts is added to any Werewolf, any version of Werewolf. You can use the Bezier Games Ultimate Werewolf or any other version of Werewolf. Okay. Everybody um, playing Arti with Artifacts gets an Artifact card. That gives them a special power. Excellent. A special power is secret until they decide to use it. At that point, everybody in the game sees the power they use. So it does two things. It gives those people like who are villagers or have a role that doesn't do too much, it gives right. them something so, else to do. Very good. And it also gives a lot more information to the game. So instead of saying, well, Dave, you're probably a werewolf because you have facial hair. No, that's, that's <laughs> like, that's so wrong and annoying yeah. when you're playing. Yes. Instead, it's Dave, you're probably a werewolf because you played an artifact that did this and actually adds real context to the game. Excellent. So a whole other layer is added when you're using this. That's a lot of fun. Very cool. And obviously, all your products have been super popular at the show this year. That's got to feel yeah, good. Yeah, everything, everything's going great. We're going to sell it. We might not sell it to Artifacts because we brought a ton of these. Good. But we're still selling uh, pretty much everything. So, yeah, it's, it's been a very good show for us. Excellent. Well, we wish you the best of luck in the rest of the show. Thank you Thank very you. much for taking time out of a crazy busy schedule yeah, to no, talk to great. us. Yeah, no, it's great. It's amazing. It, it, you can't see this on camera here, but there's it's, a ton of people just kind of like a crowd slowly moving. It is. Saturday direction. is insane. Yeah. But yeah. very good. Thanks again, Ted. Thank you.